and pray to it. It's an abomination to the creator. See? But when the Catholic Church came around the earth and the Jesuit order, yeah. The Jesuit order, you had the Knights uh, Templar and all of them, they came with swords and made people bow and worship the images. It's part of religion, brothers and sisters. And don't tell me Christ, and then some people try to ignore it and say, I know that's a picture, but Christ is in my heart. If Christ was in your heart, that picture wouldn't be on your wall. The Christ you believe that's in your heart is that same picture. Because that's what your heart believes. Read. And let's see what came with the image. Because some people will say, well, hold up. I'll take down the image now because it doesn't matter. But do you still hold the philosophy mm -hmm. in the religion that came with the picture? That's the question. Because the picture is not the only deception. And that's what the Apocrypha breaks down. Something came with the image. Read. He because he had made it. And it because being corruptible, it was called God. Being corruptible, it was called God. And let's see. Now, mind you, this was years before the, the, the Rodrigo Bogier family, which you can actually see a series on now. And the popes came up with this idea of painting false images. You have to realize uh, we're talking years and years before the Roman Catholic Church that Wisdom of Solomon is speaking of here. So this is a prophecy concerning them actually injecting themselves in our book. Read it. Verse 9. For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto the Most High. Three. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. So the people that are promoting these images will be punished. And the image will be punished. Read. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. On the idols of the heathen, there shall be a visitation. Read. Because in the creature of the Most High, they are become an abomination. Read. And stumbling blocks to the souls of men. They have become a stumbling block to God's people. And they snare to the feet of the unwise. That means people who are not that learned, and usually that's that what happens to slaves. You can only get the education given to you by those who've enslaved you. So you're not that wise concerning this particular history. It became a snare to you. Why? You have many people out there with all these issues and problems that need the Bible. They need the book. The book is the only answer. Not your pills, not your psychiatrists, not your doctors, not Oprah, not Dr. Phil. The Bible is the answer. But you have so many people that now will not even go into the Bible because they believe the book is not theirs. Mm -hmm. Based on them, the heathen placing their images in the book. They'll just ignore all this wealth of information out of the Bible strictly as a revolt against white people. See that? So that became a snare to them. I know some people are spiritual enough to get over what they've done. But others are not. Others will look at it and say, well, these are the same people that delivered me the Bible and did all these things to me. I don't want the Bible either. See? Because they've been taught that the Bible don't belong to them. See? And all the wealth of information, especially prophecy, is now being ignored. And we're living in an earth of, of unholiness. An earth of total sin. Read verse 12 for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. So the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. And guess what? You can't go into a Catholic church without tripping over one. They're everywhere, even outside. You're not supposed to have the dead with the living. No, as soon as you go to a Catholic church, you see a cemetery. You see dead people buried right in front of in front in front of the church. You want to walk in there. You're not supposed to have the dead with the living. That's an abomination in itself. That's the worship of the dead. So when you were lighting a candle to, 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 candle to this saint or that saint, some of these people who have died in the church whom the Catholic Church calls saints are buried in that same church you're praying to. Read. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. 
Verse 13. Now it's going to go into the story now. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. Go ahead. For by vain glory of men they entered into the world. By vain glory of men they entered into the world. When it says vain glory, when our people were taken down, the conquistadors and the Indians and all the people uh, that were born in, 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 under in slave ships, when they were taken down, uh, the conquerors, through their flattery, through, through, through their boastfulness, would say, I can get these people, who was once great people, to bow to our leaders, who are the real children of God. So they would take down those of, of Sadducee, or those of ancient understanding, within every tribe. And they would set up their own selves as gods, in reverence to the king. And guess what? The Apocrypha gives us these details. Read. For by the vain glory of men they entered into the world. Go ahead. And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. For a father inflicted with untimely mourning. When he hath made an image of his child soon taken away. So an image of a man's child was taken away. Now honored him as a god. And in a foreign land, they honored this same child as a god. Now, this is deep. I understand why the Catholic Church had it, it was, was in cahoots of taking this out. Because this was a prophecy of the Romans, Rodrigo Bogier. Okay. The sixth pope of Rome having his son, Cesar Bogier, taken to a foreign land and be reverenced as Jesus. That's your white image. See? Now, Cesar Bourget wasn't even a good guy. He was a triptych of poisoners. The Rodrigo Bourget is where you get the original family from the movie. That's where they get the base uh, narrative from the movie The Godfather. He killed off all his enemies through poison to gain the throne. And this son, who was known as an evil man in Rome, was reverenced as a god to slaves. Okay. Well, they say it's even in the, mo in, in the video game Assassin's Creed. That the Bogier family were murderous, Satanist, and the same evil people that took over the New World. Listen, as a compliment to the Satanic people who took over uh, the slaves, as a compliment to them, they said, well, we're going to have your son worshipped as a god in this new land. And that's where you get your Jesus is God from. Because when your child see that picture of Cesare, they're looking at their God. See? Now the Apocrypha breaks it. Listen, listen what the, the Apocrypha tells us. There's no way you can read this in the church if this was part of your Bible and not identify with the images on your wall. So they say, well, listen, the slaves are waking up. We need to take this book out. And in 1928, they said, you know what? We're not going to need this anymore. The slaves are waking up. So when they get a Bible, by the time they realize what's going on with them, we're going to have them out of the Bible altogether. And a matter of fact, we're going to make them believe that God don't even exist. But let's first make sure we take this out because we're caught red-handed. We're caught red-handed. Being idolaters and putting up Cesar Bougier. What verse you left off at there? Uh, verse 15. Verse 15 read. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. That was a prophecy of Rodrigo Bogier. When he, oh, listen, over probably a thousand years before Rodrigo Bogier was born, this was written. Read. When he, when he had made an image of his child soon taken away. He made an image of his son, Cedric Bogier. Now honored him as a god. Now everyone in the Western world who was enslaved, the North American Indians, our people who knew the truth concerning 
uh, uh, the origin of people before our foreparents were enslaved. So they, they would kill the ancient and teach the children these lies. They would teach the children to reverence them as gods. Cut them off from their culture and give them a new culture. And listen, it's no surprise now that the whole game of terrorism that they're planning and have created have now been aimed towards us. They know we're waking up. So they need a reason to engage us now that the Most High have revealed the truth. So they're going to just make up the net. It wasn't about Bin Laden, brothers and sisters. It was about you the whole time. Now you see the new face of terrorism, right? <laughs> because you're no more good to them. Awaken. So they'll take some child they have programmed that they took from their family a long time ago, dope them up, make them an MK Ultra project, and, 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 and just set them loose. Then kill them and give you the new face of terrorism. All right? Because they know you're waking up. You are not susceptible to the lies anymore. You're starting to find out that you're the children of Jacob. And you're pulling away from this satanic system. You're pulling away from, from the hand that fed you, the beast, and they can't stand it. So now they're, they're coming after you. Jacob's trouble. We go in there in a moment. Read. Which was then a dead man. He was a dead man over in Europe. And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. So, it's deeper than the image because not only did you get that false image, you also got Christmas. You also got Easter. You also got Sunday Mass. You got all these different ceremonies and sacrifices that had nothing to do with the Bible. Christ was not born on December 25th. That's the worship of Tammuz, the virgin child of Semiramis, or what they would call the reincarnation of Nimrod. That they celebrate every Saturnalia. And we know that Saturn is another name for Satan. That's why they do it during the dead of winter. Have nothing to do with Christ at all. So they delivered those things to you. The same people who delivered you the false image. Now, does this make you racist for saying this? For, for actually speaking the truth? Think about this. And on, on, on the flip side of this, why would they go through so great of limps to, to hide this from the masses? That means the people whom they're hiding this from are highly important. They must be highly important. Read. Verse 16. Thus in process of, of time. Through process of time, that means as years went on. An untimely custom or an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. Now this ungodly custom, which was sinful, have now is now part of tradition now. The culture through time, the American culture, the Western world culture believes that this is righteous. Every Christmas when the family get together, every Easter, going to church on Sundays, when really it's unlawful and it's sinful. It was evil from its inception. But through tradition, because they sensationalize these satanic days, you believe it's part of your actual being. You believe you're not even worshiping God if you don't follow them. See? They did this through time. Let me tell you, the adversary is very patient. Read. Thus, in process of time, through process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. Now, this custom was kept as a law. Read. Engraven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. And with this came graven images. I don't know what, guess what? A lot of you, a lot of our people have been predisposed to idolatry and don't even know it. It's nothing for our people to go to some type of store and get what you would call a knickknack. Little thing to put on your, your counter or get a mask that you got, an African mask that you got and think is culturally sound. 
I, I remember growing up and your mother would sit there and have some type